Now let's actually do it in context to solutions. So they want me to find the pH of a 1.8 times 10 negative 4 molar HBr solution. Well, HBr is a strong acid. And the concentration of the strong acid is going to be equal to the concentration of the H plus. So 1.8 times 10 negative 4 is my H plus. So this problem will read pH is equal to the negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. Whip out that handy dandy calculator. Let's clear all that garbage out of there. Go negative log 1.8 second e negative 4 shabam 3.74. Okay. Now it wants me to find the H plus of 1.02 grams of HNO3 in 250 milliliters of solution. Well, now I actually have to determine the molarity. This is a strong acid, it's one of my seven strong. So when I find the molarity of this acid, that will be the molarity of my H+. And that's all they're really asking for in this problem. So let's do a mole conversion. One mole on the top. And the weight of HNO3 on the bottom, which would be 48 plus... 48 plus 14.01 plus... 1.01 is 63.02 and 1.02 divided by oops divided by second answer is 0 0.0162 and take the 0 0.0162 moles divide by 0 0.250 liters because it's molarity and I get 0 0.0647 molarity is equal to the concentration of H plus Okay, so now it wants me to calculate the pH of a 3.5 times 10 to 4 molar strontium hydroxide solution. Well, strontium hydroxide is a strong base. Okay, so since it's a strong base, the concentration of the base is equal to the concentration of OH minus in the solution. But there's one little trick to this, and the trick is right there. So I don't have 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4 molarities of OH minus here because there are two OHs. Little trick, okay? So, um, so I actually have to double it because there's two of them. If, there was, if, if it was something like sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH, then it'd just be the same thing. But because there's two in the hydroxide, I actually have twice as many OH minuses in solution as I do um, a normal problem as I do the total compound. So now my molarity, and this is equal to my OH minus concentration. So if I take the negative log of that, that gives me POH. So I'm going to take the negative log of 7.0 times 10 to the negative 4. Negative 4, and I get 3.15 and 14 because I asked for the pH 14 minus that number is the p uh, it will be the pH so this is 3.15 and then 14 minus 3.15 is equal to 10.85 and that's my pH now here's the thing about these problems before I do the last one Lots of red warning lights should go off in your head as you are solving these problems because Strontium hydroxide is a strong base. So people like, they look at this and go, oh, negative log, I'll just take the negative log of it, that will give me my pH, and they'll get an answer of 3.15, and they'll circle it, and they'll stop. And I'll say, but strontium hydroxide is a strong base. And if it's a base, it must have a pH greater than 7. So if I got 3.15 as my answer, I would know immediately that I'm wrong, and that red warning light should go off in my head. That's how I know I have to do one more step to get myself a pH that's greater than 7. I got 
that's a pH greater than 7, therefore I must have done this, hopefully, correctly, because at least I'm in the right range. Now let's solve the last one. It wants me to solve the pOH of 1.50 grams of lithium hydroxide in 250 milliliters of solution. Lithium hydroxide is a strong base, so when I find the concentration of it, that will be equal to the concentration of OH minus. And lithium hydroxide is 16 plus 1.01, is, is, um, which is 17.01. The mental math is failing me right now. Plus 6.94, the weight of lithium, is 23.95. Okay, so I take 1.50 divided by second answer is 0 0.0626 moles. To find the molarity, which will be the molarity of the OH minus, and I take 0 0.0626 divided by 0.250. because I have to convert to molarity, and I always divide by the liters of solution, divided by 0 0.250 is 0 0.251251 molar. Okay, now that's just the OH minus concentration. They want me to solve for the pOH. So the pOH is equal to the negative log of the OH minus concentration, which is 0 0.251. Now, because this is a base, I would expect my pOH to be a low number. And I get 0 0.601. Is 0 0.601 a small number? Yes, it is. Therefore, hopefully, I did it correctly. Uh, if not, at least I'm in the right ballpark. And that's how to calculate pH, pOH, concentrations, etc. of different acids.